Hello everyone. Welcome to Chameleon Classes. Today's topic is processing of alcoholic beverages that is beer. In this lecture, the brewing of beer is explained by step by step process. First, we come to the definition of the beer. It is an oldest form of alcoholic drink that is consumed all over the world. Beer is mainly brewed from the malted cereal grains that is mainly from the malted barley often with the hops or other substances to produce the bitter flavor in the beer now what is malt it is a product a leftover of the cereal grain after it has been dried allowed to sprout air dried again and heated in an oven this includes the cereal grains such as rice wheat oats and rye it is also fermented from the extract of the roots and other parts of the plants such as ginger spruce etc it is produced by the steeping process of the plant materials which are dipped into water and certain fluids now why steeping process of beer is done this is done to extract the flavor and soften the beer the types of the beer as per the brewers association's competition beer style guidelines It is composed of over 75 different types of beer. Some of the main types are top fermented beers. Here, the microbes that is the yeast rise to the surface of the fermenting wort. They produce more flavors to the beer. The top fermented beers include brown ale, mild ale, old ale, pale ale, stout and white beer. Next, the bottom fermented beers. they work at the lower temperature that is 5 to 10 degrees celsius here yeast work less vigorously and produce slow carbon dioxide these include pale lagers and pilsners dark lagers and german style box the third one is the spontaneous fermenting styles of the beer here the brewers Con, uh, put the controlled yeast strains deliberately into the sugary liquids the moment when microbes that is the yeast and the bacteria come in contact with the liquid the fermentation starts now coming to the main topic of the beer that is processing of the beer also known as the brewing of the beer the first step starts with the milling of the grain here It starts with the breweries or the brew house also known as the factory of the beer. In this step the malt of various types of the cereals are crushed into ferment and the fermentable sugars are extracted and a product that is grist is produced. As I have already discussed earlier that is the malt it is the prepared cereal product or it is the product left over after the cereal grain has been dried and heated in the oven it is mainly barley because the most common malted grain barley has the highest content of enzyme present in it the second comes the mash conversion here the grist is transferred to the mash tun that is an equipment and it is then mixed with the heated water with the process of mash conversion now what is conversion It is the disintegration of various macromolecules into micromolecules with the help of various enzymes that is amylases, proteases, gluconases and cellulase that are important for the beer production. This conversion process also includes natural enzymes that is already present in the malt to break the malt starch into the sugars. Further the combination of the alpha and the beta amylase is vital for malting and mashing of the barley in addition to its role in increasing the sugar yield of the fermentation so basically these enzymes are crucial for the mash conversion of the malted cereal grains now we come to the third step that is the lottering the mash tun is then pumped out to the lotter tun what is lotter tun lotter tun is a traditional machine for lottering the mash tun is then pumped out to lotter tun 
where the liquid that is the wort is separated from the grain husk this lottering is a combination of three steps the first step include the mash out process this process raises the temperature of the mash to 77 degrees celsius this stops the enzymatic fermentation of the starches to fermentable sugars and makes the mash more liquid to extract the wort now this mash out has two objectives first is it stops the enzymatic conversion of the starch to fermentable sugars that is the starch which are present in the mash that their enzymatic conversion are stopped to make them in fermentable sugars and second it starts the first step to separate wort from the mash now we come to the second step that is recirculation recirculation what is recirculation it is basically basically drawing the wort from the bottom of the mash and then adding it to the top with the help of the lotter ton this work is mainly done by the lotter ton now the third step is that sparging it is done by trickling the water through grain to extract the sugars it is a delicate process step as wrong temperatures or ph extract that is mainly tannins that comes out from the grain husk if wrong ph or temperature is now uh, provided to the uh, during the sparging then it pr uh, produce a bitter flavor in the brewing process this sparging is done to lock the color and the flavor of the mash now we come to the fourth step which is the boil uh here the wort is collected in a vessel or a kettle and brought to a controlled boiling point before the hops are added what is wort it is the liquid that is extracted from mashing process during the brewing of beer or whiskey this contains sugar that is most importantly maltose or maltoids which are then fermented by brewing yeast to produce the alcohol it is the base which is fermented further coming to the hops they are the flowers of the hop plant which are used primarily as bittering flavor or specific or for the characteristic flavor and as a stability agent in the beer in addition to the bitterness they also impart floral or fruity or any type of citrus flavor and aromas which typically enhances or the flavoring of the beer this also gave the beer a characteristic taste and flavor after the completion of the boil wort separation and cooling of the beer is done after boiling wort is transferred to whirlpool for the wort separation stage during this process any type of malt or any type of hop particles are removed and a liquid is left which is ready to be cooled and fermented for this step swirl paddles are used swirl paddles they are mainly used for the wort separation process now coming to the sixth step that is the most important step that is fermentation of the beer to start the fermentation step yeast is added during the filling of the vessel here the yeast converts the sugary wort into alcohol and carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide which is produced gives natural sparkle to the beer so here an anaerobic process starts that is uh, that produces alcohol and carbon dioxide the seventh step that is the maturation of the beer step uh, the young green beer that is produced that is the outcome or uh, after the fermentation they are uh, needed to be matured in order to allow full development of the flavors in the beer and provide a smooth finish to the beer product now the eighth step comes to the filtering 
carbonation and the cellaring process of the beer first coming to the cellaring what is the cellaring cellaring is basically known as aging of the beer uh, after reaching the full potential the beer is filtered carbonated and transferred to a bright beer tank where the beer goes to the cellaring process which mainly takes 3 to 4 weeks to complete this total cellaring process and after the completion of this process the beer which uh, the beer product is ready to be packaged the main two main needs of the cellaring are the dark environment and the the dark and the humid environment the last topic is the abv that is the alcohol by volume of beer here it shows the better aging and higher content of the alcohol content of the beer in right circumstances the darker beer age better than the lighter ones abv is generally used to assess the particular strength of the beer the abv scale is very simple it works as the higher the abv content the more range of alcohol uh, a beer contains the lighter range beer generally ranges from 4 to 4.5 abv percentage higher person gets higher with the heavier styles of the beer next coming with the overview of the flow chart of the brewing process here we can see uh, the picture from the base grain to the packaging of the beer which i have already discussed so we can have a total view over the brewing process of the beer so it was a very brief discussion about the processing of the beer uh, thank you all and please do like share and subscribe to the chameleon classes